Rarely? No, I not Well, then that angry. argument makes no sense that you, well, I only hold their will temporarily. But I'm not, That's the same I'm not as me saying a, I hold I'm the slave temporarily. I'm not taking away their will. I'm pushing Wait, what's I'm already sorry. coming Did your ex, them. Was it your ex's will to get a broken back and fall down three stories? It was the universe's. But it, not his. It was the universe's. And did you affect the universe? Yeah, I would say so. So then if you affected the universe, then you contained his will. How's that not slavery? I personally believe if someone punched you in the face and you punched them back. That's not slavery. No, because slavery is not comparable. This is comparable. No, it's not a containment of will. If I punch you in the face and you punch me back. No, that's a response to will. You're containing the will. I took my power back. Call it whatever you want. Call I it slavery. I took my power back. How is it not slavery? How is witchcraft not slavery? Yeah, how is it not slavery to affect a person's will and get them to do things they ordinarily would not do? I guess you could call it that. It's manipulation of energy. Okay. Well, and it's if, more nuanced than that, though. I don't think if it is. If an abuser put a hex on you, would you consider that? It wouldn't land. How do you if know? If it did Because land. it's... Ba- okay. Let's pretend it did. Let's it's not going he- to land. I have people who try to hex me all the time. I'm, I'm just asking a question. I'm, I'm trying to get clarity because okay. I don't... I'm, just what the difference is. Like, where you feel it would be okay to put a hex on somebody else and it's totally okay. But if somebody were to put that one on you, how would you feel about it? That's their decision. I, I, it happens to me so often that it really doesn't bother me. I have my protection set up and... I believe if I genuinely did something to harm someone, to cause them out, I think you need to understand the amount of anger, the amount of pain that a victim has to go to, to the point where they want to go take spiritual repercussions I've been as a human being. I yeah. have been assaulted. I've yeah. been pointed so by you, a stranger. So, you, so you, I know. you understand the I know. anger. And, yeah. Oh, of course. It, it's a way for me that I was able to take my power back after it was taken away from me. Okay. So I have, I have a question on this because you're trying to get uh, justice for mm-hmm. victims. Do you think in the justice system, people are falsely accused? That is a factor, but it Mm. is considerably lower than I think. I I don't think it's a big factor. You don't think it's a big factor? No. I would say majority of victims are not false reporting. I I would say false accusations. I'll even grant that the majority of victims are not making false accusations. There's there's an overwhelming amount of women who don't even report what's happening to them. Okay, so will you concede that women do make false accusations? Yes, it does happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's actually in this specific crime you're talking about. It's actually there. There's higher incidence of false accusations of this sort of crime, where people have sort of misunderstandings of what is and what isn't. So, you said you only do this two abusers, how would you come to the determination that someone's actually guilty? That's a really great question. Or you just, they just say he abused me and you just believe it in all instances? I have my spell set up. So anything that you put out returns back to you times three. So if I hex someone and they didn't do anything wrong, it's not going to impact them. It's not going to hit them. Yes. So you write a petition. A petition is a big part of it. You write petitions specifically what you want to happen. And in my personal petition, how I personally practice, I put in the petition that if the person is not doing anything, anything that they're putting out, they're going to get back times three. So if I asked you, for example, to put a hex on somebody and I tell you that they abused me but they didn't, like, this, the hex wouldn't work? No. Not if you went to me. If you went to a different practitioner, maybe, if they did it differently. But that's personally how I do mine. Interesting. Yeah. Fair enough. It depends on who you ask. Fair enough. But I would, I do believe the victim overall, because I do think a vast majority of the people coming to me are not falsely accusing. I, I would assume most people who are going out of their way to pay for a service done, there probably is a reason there. Have you ever stopped to think that a lot of abusers are also victims? And yeah. That because, you know, they so where's the cycle end? Like if you're saying I'm coming after you because you abused me, mm-hmm. but he abused you because of someone who abused, like he is also a victim. Like I don't know the situation, right. but like in a lot of situations, people hurt because they're hurt. Yeah. So why, where's right. the justification of saying now I'm just going to push more hurt here's, onto you here's the so thing. you are now acting out of hurt? Like where's the kindness, where's the love, where's the stop of it? That's where true. does it end? Where I does, where does it end? I am more focused on getting justice whenever way that's you fit. And so then there would be no end. So therefore, the There's never going to be an end to violence. There's never going to be an end to abuse. 
because that's just not how the world works. I really hate that the world works like that, but it's never going to be like that. The world is never going to be equal. It is never going to be fair. Wait, so to be clear, with these hexes, and let's assume this person is being falsely accused and they're innocent, so you cast the hex, but the hex doesn't work if they're innocent? Mm -hmm. Based on how I have mine set up. You don't have any really knowledge of witchcraft. I have so, zero knowledge. Yeah, of <laughs> it's kind of the same thing as like a clause for marriage. We won't a, a prenup, right? You don't get fifty percent unless someone cheats. So it's kind of the same. It's like a prenup, I guess. I write prenups for my spells, if that makes sense. I can put it in okay. that terminology, and I think that'll make more sense to everyone yep. on the panel. We have Dane's wife, J.C. Dugard, eleven-year-old kidnapped, essayed for the eighteen years, has two children during captivity. Rescued when children 14 and 11 couldn't abort because of captivity. Can she unlive those children or why not? No, and I also would like to say that I think my mind has changed a bit since hearing your argument. Just and also the female arguments brain. It like doesn't that have to make sense. because <laughs> I never thought about it like mm -hmm. that. So Nick, do you mean this camera? Yeah. On my side? Um, yeah, yeah no, focus. that would be wrong. Okay, then we have Giovanni C. Which girl says her motivation is justice, but also states her system is set up to repay wrongs done to her three times as much. Is that justice? That's an interesting question. It follows the law of three, which some people practice and people don't. Isn't I there something in the Bible, sevenfold like vengeance? Yeah, there is a lot. <laughs> there is a lot. There actually is like a lot of witchcraft in the Bible. There actually are a lot of witchcraft. No, I was just thinking of sevenfold like vengeance. Well that's in the Tomorrow? Bible. I'm I think it has to do with Cain. That's kind of besides the point. But is it justice, though, really quick? I had to get three times. So, like, eye for an eye, but three eyes, I guess, instead of for. Yeah, I just have that set. I just work mm -hmm. the number three. I just feel very called to it. So that's what I do. Okay. Yeah. If somebody kills a member of your family, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. then what would be the times three back? If someone killed a member of my family, I'm taking out their entire family. But I ride for the people and I love. And that's justice? For me. He's innocent. I ride for the people I love. Wait, so hold on. Let so me that's, that's me, people that's have me to die for wait, your wait, wait. revenge? <laughs> wait, so okay. A individual member of a family, mm -hmm. without any other of the family members being involved, lone actor, kills a member of your family... The other families living on the opposite side, let's say they're in New York and this yeah. happened in California, you're going to go kill the... I guess, I, for, three, I guess for eye for an eye, I would just kill whoever killed my family member. Well, that, now you're walking back your position. I might. I just might. Even if that family involved, like, innocent children? No, oh, I would never kill a kid. Oh, not the kids. No, 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 not kids. Just what wait, if it's a kid who killed yeah, your family member? I've never run You can't abortion. control for that. Ooh, yeah, it's the times that? three. Kill a kid if it was a kid who killed your family member. No, because it's a child. Now, hang on. I just want to make sure I got this. I would never hex a child either. I do want to make sure. I would never hex anyone under age 18. That so. I got this correct. Mm -hmm. That following this law of three, mm -hmm. the three times, you do believe that this actually works. Mm -hmm. I do believe my hex is land, yes, yeah, when they okay. are meant to land. It, and you believe that this actually has an effect in the world? Yes. So you believe that you are actually doing this? Yes. So then why wouldn't it not be justified if some member, let's say, of my crazy family somewhere, right, mm -hmm. hypothetically, took out a member of yours? For me to not note that you would do a spell that could then condemn me based on the belief that wouldn't I be then justified to come and take you out before you could do a hex? You could try. Yeah, no, but that's not my question. I know what I know what a person could try. I'm asking about the justification. When the justification of, oh shit, you took out this witch's husband, Paul, she's gonna take out the whole family. Wouldn't they then be justified in doing something to you? Just based on your fact of belief that this is- Sure, yeah. And you think that that's coherent and not madness? I think that if I genuinely hurt someone and they decided to cast on me, that that is justified. Not cast on you. They did something completely different. They just came and took you out because they believed like you did, that your spell could have such an effect that it destroyed their whole family. Wouldn't or they be justified? Murder the whole family or whatever the reason. Yeah, wouldn't they be justified in that? I'm sure, I guess. <laughs> you, and you think that's justice? I think what I do is justice. We do have your website. We wanted to pull it up. Nick, could you get the website going? So it says custom-made intense hex hexes. Excuse me. 
Sorry, this is sorry. perfect for those looking to get justice or looking to remove someone out of their life. Do you do this full time? Yeah, Click and I thing. just got my best friend hired as well too. So. Can, do you work for someone else or? You no, I work yeah, for right, myself. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Spell work. I find everyone online. Okay, so custom made intense hexes. This is perfect for those looking to get justice or looking to remove someone out of their life. Areas I can hex: relationships, money, sex, health, bain baneful protection. Remove someone from your life. Ge general negativity. Make them go broke. Hex or click on the book today for hexes and baneful work. What are you trying to achieve? So make them go broke, hex their love life, protect me and harm them when they get near me, remove them from my life, plus cause pain, help me win a court case, general negativity. Really quick on the help me win a court case one. Mm -hmm. What if they're not in the right with the court case, but everybody, you know, every, everybody thinks that they're in the right, you know? Yeah, that's not really... I'm just offering a service. So when right, someone but, books for me for a justice working and they tell me... Basically, I'm just going to help it so that they pre can present themselves better in court so they have a higher likelihood, a chance of achieving their can, can I ask you a question? So yeah, which let's, let's say, would you work for a guy? Like if a guy wanted to hex? Or yeah. You, yeah, yeah, I have. Actually, okay. that's how I met my partner. Okay. Yeah. So if a guy came to you and said, hi, I've been falsely accused of SA, mm -hmm. can you put a hex on her to like get her to stop her accusations? Yeah. Can you help me in the criminal case that's ongoing, the Absolutely. civil case? That's you would do that. But I thought most, I thought you would be tend to not agree, agree that false accusations occur when it comes to this crime. Yeah, but what my client is coming to me and telling me is what I believe. I'm being paid to listen to my client and deliver what my client is asking. Oh, okay. So you're, you're like a witch hitman? I guess you could call me that. So you don't even care what your target is. You don't ha you don't do any research. You don't try to determine if it's true. Mm -hmm. They come and they give you the money, yeah, talk, and you're we, gonna hex their ass, and that's the end. I of it. think you were away when we talked about it. Basically, yeah, I have that. a clause set up in my spells mm -hmm. that any negativity you put out will be returned towards you. So I have it set up so that if that person that I am targeting you're, is innocent, it's not going to a, land. I have a fine print essentially. But this all operates off perception. You could perceive that you've had great wrongs done to you, even if you actually have not. We, Who makes the, the determination? The universe. And how does, it, how does the universe what is, know? Yeah, what is, I what, by what most. metric does the universe judge? I put the energy out there, and the universe decides to do what they want to do with it. I never specifically asked for my ex to be put off a building. I said, I want justice, and I want him. I need something to be done so he stops hurting women. Mm -hmm. And he fell off a building. I never asked for him to fall off a building. That was what happened. Cause and effect. Well, we can come back to some of that stuff a little later. You said, yeah. yes, I'm currently dating a famous rapper. We're polyamorous. You can talk about our connection. I've So famous rapper, are you at liberty to? I don't think me and him are at a place where we want to like publicize stuff, mm -hmm. but okay. yeah. How big is his following? About 2 million <coughs> overall platforms. He's signed to Republic Records. 2 million collectively? Big. Yeah. I think he has like 1.3 over TikTok and like 700K on Instagram. And when you say polyamorous, so you're seeing other people? Mm -hmm. And he's um, seeing other people? We had it set up when we first started talking where he could see other girls, but then we did decide to kind of make things a bit more exclusive just because we are long distance right now. And I kind of want to wait until we're in the same city before I would feel comfortable with him seeing other women. Mm -hmm. But he's fully supportive of me dating, talking, doing whatever I want with women. He's like very, very supportive of that aspect of my life. Okay. Nick, just be careful with that, okay? Yeah. You saw what I was trying to avoid. Their round meatball donated $200. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mr. I like meatball. Just a real Mr. Appreciate meatball. it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Mr. Meeple. Yo, send me a message on Instagram, man. Good to see you back in the chat. It's been a while. Also, we'll get you, I think we got to get you like legendary status on our Discord. <laughs> I think for people who've been like regular, and if you're not in our Discord, people who've been like regular contributors over the months, years, whatever, we'll get you complimentary like Discord status. So shoot me a message question. on Instagram. Yeah. Your love spells, for example, mm -hmm. you put on that like you can basically have make someone fall in love with somebody else, correct? Mm hmm. Do you not feel that's holding somebody against so well? No. So how I have love spells set up is it's like an aphrodisiac. So, for example, if I put a love spell on Justin Bieber, does that mean he's going to leave? So you spike their drink. 
that's n I'm not. Well, if it's an aphrodisiac, I'm right? You just like bam. No, you spike that's not what I'm saying no. at all. I'm saying it's equivalent to wearing perfume. It's not. Here's the thing. So if I put a love spell on Justin Bieber, would he leave his wife for me? Probably not. So witchcraft builds on the energy that is already there and already present. So in order for me to effectively cast a love spell on someone else, they already have to have a lot of feelings towards me. And it's just going to naturally elevate that feeling and that communication and increase it. Isn't it convenient to think, even from your own perspective, that you could not hex somebody who is famous nor give them a love spell which would actually move them towards the person who wanted them, in this case, Justin Bieber, by saying, well, it's due to the, the energies of the universe rather than just the logical improbability that Justin Bieber is ever going to leave this really hot woman for this less hot nobody he doesn't know. That's just improbable, right? Yeah, you probably wouldn't leave So him. I'm just saying, why should we assume that this in any way works and it's not just essentially you wanting to believe well, that it works. Either all of my clients are liars or maybe there's something to it. And even if what I do does well, not have convince. any impact, it's not convinced though when I have hundreds and hundreds of women coming to me telling me that they have seen differences in their life while working with me. Well, do you think that maybe it's just because you put it out there for them, so then they're making more effort towards that person? I think that's a factor, like, yeah. A placebo effect? I think that there's a factor to that, yeah. I think so there's a factor. The same concept as manifestation, where if you don't put work towards something, it doesn't matter how well you manifest. However, you can put a manifestation out there. You still need to work towards that manifestation. Um, so then you personally aren't actually doing something. You're just like, hey, this has happened. Now you can go do that. I'm naturally I'm in the universe, and now it's happened. Essentially, yeah, I'm uh, building on the energy that's already present and already well, there. Well, but on your website. Mm -hmm. um, Nick, could you pull back up? So you offer a, there's a section that says love spell. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't meaning that. I was, yeah, I was just generally asking. No, I was gen back, I was generally back. curious. Yeah. No, you can ask. It's questions. the one just no, right next to it. It's called love that. spell. So you can, you can show it. Pull, pull it up. Okay. Pull up the site. Okay, so click on love spell, book today. Custom love spell. Uh, Love spell, oh, there should be a button on the mouse that's like a back button. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, can you scroll back down to it, please? Okay. So it says, get the love life of your dreams. But that, I mean, that seems like a bit bigger of a representation than just it already elevates Building an on. existing right. thing. But then it also says, love spells increase... Oh, can you click on it? Yeah, I love spell. Yeah. Love spells increase communication, emotion, and will aid in helping you get your specific person and love life you deserve. If there's a third party involved, okay. Spells get done within a week. Book if you want more communication, are in no contact, want an ex back, want them to desire and think of you more. Mm -hmm. Well, no contact. Where's the building on? on that would seem to indicate on the prior that connection that they don't want do you ever uh, if they don't want it then they're not going to come back it doesn't matter you can so that's you like can cast you can cast a hundred different spells if that person has no intention of coming back but it's kind of like a thing of like it's more me wait, getting a little but why pay wait, for it yeah it, why the need for the love spell because it adds to the energy that's already there but then you're taking somebody else's free will away but, but they, if they're having fine, no you're contact, not taking that how so, is there even energy there um, if they don't want that contact, that means they don't want that contact. That means they don't want that. Well, there's a lot of different situations why peop two people could be no contact, and it doesn't necessarily mean that wait. both parties never want to talk to each other again. Generally means they don't wait, wait, wait. want contact. Okay. I have a question. So let's say a girl, like the guy, <laughs> is like hesitant to get intimate. They, but mm -hmm. he likes her. Right. She likes him. Mm -hmm. And That's they're right. like, okay, she likes her. Mm -hmm. Sorry. He likes her. Mm -hmm. She likes him. Mm -hmm. I don't think we should be off. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think I have some of my popcorn. So. All right. Um, <laughs> be okay. So he likes her. Mm -hmm. She likes him. Mm -hmm. He's maybe been a little hesitant to get intimate, right? Mm -hmm. um, but he likes her. Mm -hmm. And the girl wants, like, she's thirsting for this dude. Mm -hmm. She's down bad. Wants a ring mm -hmm. on it. She wants it. No, she wants to fuck, right? <laughs> okay. Would you cast yeah. a spell... <laughs> to further along 
the sex. Probably not. That's I don't really like getting into that kind of situation. That sounds a little. Mm. I don't really well, want to be involved. But that's the you. connection. She wants the intimacy. Yeah. I would build off of the emotion that's already there. I would, yeah, maybe throw a little bit of energy towards what she's asking for. But, yeah, I don't, I've don't. i never been um, asked to do that personally. Do you, do you send people proofs that you actually did the spell? Yeah. How? I take photos and videos of the spell, and then I send it to the client. And then I have them update me, tell me how things are going, and then from there we can develop a plan. Because, I mean, it occurs to me that you could sell a spell and then just never do the spell. And they could just say, hey, I have this result. And you're like, awesome, sucker. Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't do that. But I if it doesn't work, can they get a refund? No, but I have it stated that it's not 100% guarantee because I can never 100% guarantee results. What I'm doing is not an exact science. If it was an exact science, it wouldn't be witchcraft. And people know that when they book with me. Okay. And they're okay with that. Oh, fair enough. It's, it's just increasing fair the enough. likelihood of something happening. Fair enough. It's not like 100% guarantee okay. if that makes fair sense. Enough. Yeah.